Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today I have a special unboxing from Diamond Art Club. A sneak peek for this weekend. This is Zodiac Libra by Chrisabug. Excuse me? <clears throat> by Chrisabug. This is a square drill diamond painting and it's a 20 by 30 inch painting or this. Anyhow, <gasps> thank you Diamond Art Club for sending me this diamond painting. I love Chrisabug and I love the colors so we absolutely have to get into it and have a look and see what's going on. How's everybody doing? I hope you're having a fantastic week so far. Inside here we have a sticker. Look, look, look. We have a toolkit. Toolkits are different. Toolkits are different uh, in each and every kit. Uh, I did have someone ask about what if my toolkit doesn't come with a uh, with washi tape or with a cover minder. And in that case, you've gotten one of the older manufactured kits and not a brand new one. Some of the ones on the website are, you know, older ones. That's okay. Um, these are extras that they added in not too, too long ago. I would say within the last year. So here is a standard square drill toolkit. You're going to get extra bags a pen and tweezers, and the pen and the pen grip are going to match colors usually, most of the time, in my experience. We've got some multi-placers, two plates of heart-shaped wax. In here we have lime washi tape. Oh, that's cute. And we have a cover minder, and this is a little shell. That's adorable. We also have the diamond tray, so that's what you would shake your diamonds into to get them all lined up for diamond painting. I'm gonna pop them back into the bag here. How are you doing? I feel like it's been ages. Pop this back in here. I'm gonna remind you here that um, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. And I will be doing more diamond painting videos. And just for those of you who have been here for a while and you remember this, um, James and I are talking about doing the weird and wacky again. The Weird and Wacky with Mr. Ray may be having a second season, so stay tuned. We've got the diamond painting here, nice and soft. I don't know if you can see that, but it is a velveteen coated canvas. It's really nice to work with. We've got the diamonds. My color scheme. Number one reason that I picked this out of the lineup was because the colors. I love the colors. Look at this. Look at that art. Isn't she fabulous? I am not a Libra. I am a, I am a Pisces. Bush. If this is a sign of where things are going again with more of these Zodiac paintings, definitely going to have to get the Pisces one. So as you can see here, this is the legend. You can use this as stickers for containers or you could just have it on the side, whatever you like. There are 51 colors in this painting. Uh, here there are four Aurora Borealis colors. They always come first and they're under the number 150. And then we have two L's here, which I think are crystals. So we're going to have a look here in just a minute. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then we have here a um, how-to tips and tricks and a little discount code for those of you who purchase another painting after that one. So let's go ahead and roll it up. I'm gonna roll it this way. Looks like it's gonna be a really fun painting to do because it kind of has a mix of color blocking and confetti. I'll show you what I mean. <gasps> wow. Okay, so <laughs> the rendering on this uh, with the symbols on it looks really funky. I'm gonna say that. Look at her face. <laughs> Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, I don't normally do this, but I'm going to put a picture of the rendering from, uh, from them into the video if I can, so that you can see, cause I saw it on social media and it looks really good. The rendering looks really good.
But the symbols, this is something that got me when I was um, a beginner at diamond painting. The symbols look really strange. Look at her face. But she, do, she does look beautiful when she is diamond painted. So, yeah. Don't. Don't judge it. Don't judge it when it's just symbols on a canvas. <laughs> Take my word for that. I love that there is a border that has been um, that has been put into that. It looks really cool. It is in the original artwork, but I think it's a little bit more faint than what it comes out to be. Uh, here on the painting, but I like it because it is. It's going to give your eyes. Uh, permission to draw in and it looks really really nice also on these canvases you'll see that there's like the licensing info the social media info warranty information you've got legends on both sides of the canvas at the top and the bottom on opposite sides and I just I I think it looks really cool so as you can see we've got areas of uh, like one color here a band of color here so there's a lot of areas where you'd be doing one color when you open up a section like a square or a rectangle uh, it's gonna be easy to, to work on <clears throat> excuse me once you come down into her face hair uh, and a little bit here in the bodice and a little bit here in the skirt you'll be changing colors more often but it's not excessive confetti so I think that this will be really fun to work on if you want like a really low pressure kit, something where you're not changing colors every two seconds. Yeah, no, that's that's my style anyway. <laughs> but it is gorgeous. I love it. Let me know down below what is your zodiac sign. If you don't want to share, it's okay. I, I totally understand. But let's go ahead and look at the colors and then we're going to look at where those specialty diamonds go here on this canvas. I have an idea just looking. Um, haven't looked closely at the symbols yet, but I, I think these chains, her bracelets, and definitely the stars. So let's go ahead and open this up. Get that out of here. Oh, look! There are square crystals. Okay, let's get in. Look at that. So this is L155 and they are like a bluish purple. They really look purple in the light. That is really pretty. Square crystals are a game changer, y'all. There's also 415 here. Now, <clears throat> we've got two bags of 550. We've got 340, 3807, 210, 791. There's three bags. 939, two bags. 154, also two bags. 3834, 126. Here's our first AB diamond. It shimmers and shines just like the Aurora Borealis. It's an iridescent coating on those drills. So they look almost metallic. Very pretty. 327, 3041, 3837, 792, we've got two bags as well, 158, 823, there's three bags here, 336, also three bags, and we've got 141, another AB, this one is a white AB, and it's hard to capture on camera, I think. Excuse me, I had to sneeze. I didn't want you to hear that. Okay, so that's the white AB. 155, 963, 333, 111. Look at that pretty color. There's only a couple of them, but that's so pretty. 3746, 3731, 552, 3733, 603. Ooh, squish bag of 562. 225, 778, and 3371. 
3805, excuse me, 3688, 3608, 124, really pretty pale pink AB. Very pretty, so delicate. 3687, 819, 3835, 3727, 3755, and the other L color, which is this crystal, very pretty clear silver rhinestone in a square shape. So pretty. Oh, beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and see where these go on our canvas. Excuse me. <clears throat> so number one is that pink AB. I'm looking, looking, looking. There are one in each eye. And in the sash here, I told you there's not a lot of them. Just there and in her eyes. Number two is that light pink AB. And I see some here in the flowers on her head. Two. There's some in the sword. Just here. More twos. I see twos scattered here in the sash and around the sides down here. Kind of like sprinkled, like a little bit of bits of magic. That's very pretty. Number three is 126, which is the pale, pale pink threes. I see some here, again in her headdress, here in her hair as well. Three, is there any in the scales? There's some right here and here, just along the side here as well. Any more three three there's some on the straps of her dress here are there any sprinkled don't see any sprinkled around though I might miss some and I do apologize if I do but I'll try to get them all number four we kind of had an idea uh, the stars not the word Libra but the stars here and these lines connecting the constellation as well up there wow there's lots of them actually there are fours sprinkled in this area here as stars i believe there are fours all in her hair like most of her hair is a b behind her is a b all of the white that I was pointing out before here on the scales, all of that is AB. Behind her on that sword here also. Uh, a little bit on her top. In her eyes as well. Then we have some, again, highlighting the, the really light areas of her dress. But then we come out here into the stars too. And that is it for the white AB. Very pretty, very, very pretty. Then we have those two crystals. The first one is the 155, which is a purple blue kind of color. And that is actually the border all the way around the diamond painting. And I'm having a look to see if there's any more, but I think that they just used it as a highlight for that line that goes all the way around the canvas. That's going to be really fun to do. And then the last one is that silver crystal rhinestone. And I see it. <laughs> that, that's the dot symbol. And that's actually in the word Libra. Go figure. Are there any others? Did they put it anywhere else? They might have just kept it for the words and that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. So the silver crystals are just in the word Libra, which I think makes sense uh, because you don't want to like connect it to other places on the canvas, do you? Just like with the crystals on the frame. I think that's a really good choice. So what do you think? Let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. I think she's beautiful. I love Chrisabug's art. If you didn't know, Chrisabug actually streams on Twitch as well. So definitely check her out. 
I love her style. I love all of the beautiful ladies that she she draws. And I love that it's legally licensed to Diamond Art Club. So definitely check out her stuff. I'll have her linked down below. Remember, this releases Saturday, tomorrow Saturday at 9 a.m. Pacific time. If you are a Ruby and Diamond member of Diamond Art Club, and if you are not, then it is 9.30 a.m. And you will get an email when these are released. If you're not interested in this one, let me know which one of the new releases you're into. I would love to know, and I would love to know your zodiac sign. Are there other Pisces out there like me? I will, <laughs> I will thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, take care and stay safe out there. Have a great weekend, and I will see you next week in my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye!